Hey everyone, I wanted to walk you through the Avaya Smart City Expo. So I'm just entering the doors right now. And you can see it's pretty lively, actually. They just got done with uh, lunch over there. And uh, they have all the different uh, venues all located throughout here. So there's a main reception area, which is uh, really helpful for people to kind of be welcomed into the area. Uh, there's some really cool digital signage here. Uh, it's all touch enabled as well, which is really cool. Uh, the graphic there is amazing. But you have the ability to click on items and then actually get more profile information. So having that interactivity I think is really, really nice. And you can close on it and then look into another item. I think this is also really good to kind of introduce the concept to people as they come into the room uh, prior to going into each little booth area so really nice so now we're gonna kind of walk around the area you can see the little aesthetics are really cool they have the arrows where they kind of want people to walk through uh, this particular area I really love uh, see the little grass uh, really nice adds a nice aesthetic to the booth area here um, I love the sign and how that uh, enclosure is kind of built into the grass the chairs are nice. I love the little touch of the uh, Via red pillows you see over there. It's really nice. But you can see this kind of um, setup here in this event uh, really allows for collaboration to happen. You can see these uh, gentlemen in front of me are collaborating on uh, some key solutions around Zhang. Um, and there's, I've just seen a lot of people really get some amazing work done. Uh, behind me here in the smart banking area, you see some more collaboration and discussion going on and talking through solutions and demonstrating the actual products themselves, which is really great to see. Uh, another booth area, and uh, here we have smart government. Uh, again, more collaboration, interactivity. I think uh, customers and partners here getting their hands on actual displays and products really uh, significantly adds uh, to not only the discussion but also to the sampling of products firsthand. Uh, they have these nice whiteboards set up here, which allows them to work out um, network diagrams and architecture uh, via Breeze. So we all know that's a pretty amazing uh, new element that's being incorporated in a lot of products and uh, also helps um, third-party vendors build snap-ins to integrate with Avaya technology, which is a pretty amazing thing. So just kind of continuing through, we have smart building and campus. We have smart education over here. Uh, again, more collaboration happening. Uh, networking, as I've walked by here a number of times, has been very popular. A lot of people wanting to understand networking in a little more detail. Here's the smart venues and hospitality and gaming area. Um, you can see the different offerings here with the screens. I think that's the uh, part of the security and surveillance for in-venue. And then um, we also have the Avaya Stadium, the new video that we created, which is pretty awesome. There's been a number of people around here. Earlier, in fact, today I saw a bunch of people watching the video. And um, we also have the new location services uh, functionality. Uh, that we're actually building into the event app and we're going to be looking at extending that into our stadium technologies as well where um, with Avaya technology you'll be able to track uh, key locations of where people are at within the network so you can see the that little diagram right there where the person's standing in between three um, APs and um, where all those circles meet is how we can actually identify that one individual within a Wi-Fi network. Uh, the other interesting thing about this is you can see we have our mobile app here, the different APs in an environment, and then we have Breeze. So Breeze could be configured with this technology to actually automatically send notifications to the individual's app device uh, making them aware of new opportunities or you just entered in to an area where you can buy merchandise and here's a 10% off coupon or uh, maybe giving you a menu on the beers available in the stadium. 
and then taking that same kind of functionality and applying it to the event space uh, really gives you capabilities of doing all kinds of things and uh, tracking uh, people that are going into specific tracks and session rooms. So it's just endless with the creative opportunities around that technology. So one of the other things I really love about the setup here in Orlando, and um, I was also at the um, Bangkok event, but one of the things they did here is they actually have a lot of the uh, main sponsor zone here is actually connected uh, to the Smart City Expo. And I love having that there because they're a very important, vital part of the ecosystem that Avaya has. Um, and not only building more awareness to key opportunities for Avaya, but also being a key ingredient and component to those end solutions. So this has given um, a lot of these guys really amazing opportunities to discuss, collaborate, um, talk about how these, these solutions can be built out. And um, I've seen having it actually connected here makes it really e easy for them to get into. In, in Bangkok, because of the physical floor plan that Bangkok was at, it didn't give this nice, intimate connection with the actual uh, Smart City Expo. So I really like the connection here. It's been great. Well, that's it. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see any other videos. Talk to you later.